Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll be covering data sets in detail. Uh, we briefly covered the show uh, pick lists uh, on our last video. This restricts the data set by ownership. Uh, it can be set to all records or just my records. Uh, keep in mind end users will only see records that they have access to in Salesforce. Now, um, let's go ahead and add a filter. Um, you can add a filter, um, do account type, um, account type, and um, well, let's go ahead and with the customer direct. All right. Um, you can also um, add cross object filters. Um, uh, let's say maybe something like show me accounts um, with opportunities. Um, let's go ahead and add a filter uh, to that. Um, so that's uh, where a stage um, equals close one. We're not going to add the filter. I'm just going to go ahead and X this out. Um, setting custom markers. You can also set your own custom markers uh, on the markers tab. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, color code by uh, rating field. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, click save. So let's go ahead and click on our data set. As you can see, the um, uh, map pins start coming up. Um, uh, if we click on our legend, we can see here the, uh, the marker color coding by field. We can hide and show by field value. So I'm going to click on this map pin. Um, so, um, so here we have a, a little um, pop-up. Um, you know, let's go ahead and uh, let's add some fields in here. Okay. So let me go back to the data set. Let's click Edit. Uh, let's go ahead and add. Um, rating. Let's go look for it. Uh, rating. Let's set it. Let's add another one. Let's add in uh, owner. Um, all right. Um, and as you can see here, see the little carrot. Go ahead and click on that. Um, so we're tapping into a related object. Um, and let's go ahead and select the, the name. Okay. And we have the other tab. Um, okay. So we have one column address. You know, by default, this is checked. Uh, but let's say you wanted to split the address up uh, into five columns, you can do that. So if uh, you want to do that, um, you can go ahead and uncheck that. Um, you have the data set idea. This is more for URL parameters, custom buttons, things like that. Uh, this will be covered in detail in an upcoming video. Okay, so let's go ahead and click Save and Close. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh the data set. And now if we click on a map pin, you'll be able to see those additional fields. And if we scroll down to the list view, um, you'll see those uh, same exact fields, which is added. All right, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.